Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm excited to walk you through my editing workflow using Evoto AI retouching software. A few months ago, I did a video reviewing Evoto AI retouching software, but I never showed you how I incorporated that into my workflow. In fact, when I went online, when I was trying to figure out how to use Evoto the best way, I had a hard time finding any information on how to incorporate it into an existing workflow using Lightroom as the main editing tool because I do really love Lightroom and I use it for 99% of my editing and I'm not ready to change that, but I just wanted to add on Evoto at the end just for some a little bit of extra retouching. Now, before I dive in, I just wanted to mention that I do use Photo Mechanic to cull all my photos. And if you're interested in that process, I have created another video demonstrating exactly how I use Photo Mechanic. So once I've culled and I've organized all of my images, I import them into Lightroom. I'm going to use some photos from a recent branding session that I did with my friend. So these are photos where my friend took photos of me that I can use for my website. So I had used my regular process to cull these using Photo Mechanic, and then I've narrowed them down to my favorites, and I created a folder over here called Five Star Nicole. So these are my favorite photos from our session. After I narrowed it down within Photo Mechanic, I imported it into Lightroom, and then I added my preset. I'll, I'll put my preset in a link in the description box and you're welcome to download that and use it however you like. So I applied my preset to these, my favorite photos, and then I went in and I made some adjustments to exposure and I warmed up a few of them. A few of them were on the cooler side, so I just adjusted the temperature for a few of them. And so now they're looking nice and consistent, which I like. and now my next step is I'm gonna pick a few select photos that I'd like to do some further retouching on. And usually I pick the photos that are closer up because that's where you can see like the imperfections on people's faces. So I tagged a few photos that I want to retouch with a red tag. So I'm gonna select red now. So these three photos, they're closer up and I would like to do like some skin smoothing help remove some of the wrinkles <laughs> that I see on my face, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm gonna select these three. And what I do is I created a separate folder. As you can see here on the left, it's underneath the initial five star Nicole. So it's five star to be edited. So I'm going to separate the photos that I'm going to be editing into this separate folder. All right, so we've got three photos in here now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export these using a TIFF format onto my desktop because I want to maintain all of the adjustments that I did in Lightroom on these photos and using the TIFF file format will allow me to have these adjustments on the photos and it will maintain the high quality of the photos. So here I'm going to select them all and I'm going to go export. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop, uh, desktop. Okay, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Evoto to be edited, Nicole. All right, create, choose, and then I'm going to specify that I want it in TIFF. All right, so now export those three photos. Now I'm in Evoto, I'm going to create a new project and I'll call it Nicole Retouch. All right. So now I just have to drag and drop my photos from, whoops, from the desktop. Okay. So I'll select those three, I'll drag them onto here. I love Evoto because it is so quick to retouch and I think it does a really good job. Okay, I've often used this preset. There's these presets on the left. I'm in the, the panel for retouching right now, so this face right here. Let me try that and see how that goes. It looks okay. I would like a little more skin smoothing, to be honest, so to skin retouching. Okay, face skin smoothing. 
We'll just crank it up a little bit and see what I think. Okay, I think that's looking good. I don't want to eliminate all of my wrinkles because then that's, I think it's going to look too fake. Okay, body skin smoothing. So just a little touch. All right. Let's see, though, there is an eye wrinkle option. So I'm going to add that in and see what I think. Yeah, it does soften the wrinkles around my eyes. Let's see, what if I do it all the way? Oh, I think that looks like too much. So I'll keep some wrinkles. I think that looks okay. I think that's an improvement, but it still looks realistic. So now I'm going to select these and I'm going to apply the same preset or the same adjustments and I'll sync that. Okay, just portrait retouching. So I'm going to export this, these three photos into the five starred file folder that I had on Lightroom, so all the my favorite photos. So export, and I have to designate the location. So this one is here, five star Nicole. Yeah, so I'm gonna export it directly into this folder, and then I can import these three photos afterwards. So open and export. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into Lightroom. Okay, so now I'm back in Lightroom and I'm in the five star Nicole file folder. The only issue is the photos, they have been, they should be in this file folder. So they should be on my hard drive in this file folder, but Lightroom has not imported them yet. So I have to import them in order to, for them to be visible. So what I've been doing is I right click on this folder, I go to synchronize folder and then import new photos. It says there are three. So let's see what happens. Yep, there they are. So I'm just gonna add them into that file folder. They're still in that TIFF file format. Okay, there they are. So I'm just gonna look at this. Five star Nicole, if I go with red. Yeah. Okay. I think I could do a little more retouching on my black shirt. I'll do that separately in Lightroom, but I think that works well. So now all the photos are within this file folder and it's all organized. So now I just have the retouch versions in this folder. So that's my workflow using Evoto. I would love to hear how you've been using Evoto. Have you been using a different method? Maybe there's a better way that I simply don't know about, but please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you for watching my channel. I will see you next time. Bye.